The main challenges facing 21st century healthcare are manifold. Um, on the one hand, um, we're interested in being able to develop personalised therapies, personalised medicine. Um, and on the other, we're interested in populations, and populations and people are changing dynamically in real time. So problems that we face now, in terms of diagnostics and analysis, are going to be different problems in a few years' time. So the technologies that we're trying to develop need to be time-proofed for the future. Most of precision medicine is, is really precision biology. It's understanding the individual variation and the components of individual variation at the population level. So that's all about measurement of individuals. And that means analytical chemistry ultimately. Even genomics, of course, is really an analytical tool. So the things that we have to do are develop things that are faster, cheaper, more efficient, robust and rugged. And that's all the things that always analytical chemists want. But we have to also validate the data that comes out very precisely in the clinical arena. There's no point in having a, a fancy tool, fancy piece of technology that actually isn't reproducible enough in the real world. The future of humanity depends on analytical science, right? Because the world changes, we have to measure it changing. Um, there are emergent threats like uh, antibiotic resistance, multiple antibiotic resistance. There's the impacts of global warming on populations, food supplies, and all of these things need measuring in the real world. So the technology has to be not only for the clinic, but it has to work in the field as well. It's an immense challenge, but one that I think we're up to.